Let's construct CFG for the given problem. The problem is a to the power i, b to the power j, c to the power k such that i equal to j or j equal to k. So <clears throat> inspecting the problem, we can find out two conditions over here that is i equal to j or j equal to k. That means the string that is to be accepted by the CFG that we design will either contain number of A's equal to number of B's or number of B's equal to number of C's. So we have two conditions in front of us and considering these two conditions we are supposed to design CFG. Now let us start first identify the language set that is L. So L can have set of strings something like this A B C C C which satisfies the first condition number of A equal to 1 number of B equal to 1 so I equal to J it can also be A A B B B B B C so <clears throat> number of A's 2 number of B's 2 and C is 1 because we are not bothered about number of occurrences of C in the first case similarly if we take into consideration the second case Okay. It says that number of B's should be equal to number of C's, however, whatever be the number of occurrences of A. So, a string, possible string can be A, B, B, C, C and possible string can also be A, 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 B, B, C, C and this continues. So, here we can notice that number of B for the second condition, number of B should be equal to number of C whatever be the number of occurrences of A. Now <clears throat> let us design the context free grammar. It is as usual we start with the start state yes. Okay. Now here since we have options this or that we can have two variables one for this and one for this. So what I will do is x or y. So x deals with the first condition y deals with the second condition. Now let us expand x, x I will write it as a, b. So <coughs> for x, for this condition number of a should be equal to number of b and that is taken care by a and whatever be the number of occurrences of b will be taken care by, uh, c will be taken care by b. So a will be that is a, a, b number of a for every a there is a b. Okay. Then after we generate required number of A's and B's, we have to stop this recursion by putting an epsilon or replacing A with epsilon. So now number of A is equal to number of B, that part is done. Okay. Now we have to deal with the number of occurrences of C and it is C, B. Once again, we produce number of C's recursively and this has to be stopped with epsilon. So B is ultimately replaced with epsilon that gives us the first condition. Strings that fall under first three category. First, yeah, first two categories. Okay. Next, X part is over. Now we have to concentrate on this part. So that is taken care by Y. So I will expand Y like this. Y equal to, here I have AB. I have written AB. Now I will go with CD. And C will be taking care of number of occurrences of A's which has no restriction. So it is A, C and stopped using a epsilon. Now we have to deal with B and C, balancing B and C. Number of B should be equal to number of C. So that is taken care by D and it is B, T, C. Now here we can generate possible number of B's and C's seeing to it that they are balanced and finally it has to be stopped or replaced with epsilon so that the recursion ends and <clears throat> this is the overall C CFG design for the given problem statement. Now let us cross verify whether we have done proper CFG design or not. For that let us take one any one string let us take this string okay so the string is triple A double B double C that means we are dealing with this particular situation or condition. So it is yes, 
derives x y x or y okay now since i am dealing with the second condition y i have to take so i will be applying the second rule y <coughs> now y is given by c d okay and c is nothing but a c now we need 3 a's so i will apply three times that rule a a c a a a c now i will replace c with epsilon that is a a a epsilon so i got d d will be that so what d rule says it is a a a d is nothing but b d c how many b's and how many c's we want we want two b's and two c's so b d c one time a a a b b d c two times now i got my string a a a b b c c now replace d with epsilon a a a b b c c and we got the string now i hope you understood how to design cfg for these kind of problems any comment you can post the comment in the comment box thank you